up the... No, no, I don't think that's... That's not the same alligator I was thinking of. Never mind. He's, the one I'm thinking of is about five feet. This, this alligator is larger and his tail looks okay. But it's not interesting. Playing with this. And there's other boats running up, too. That's not helping us. summer. The water temperature is plenty warm enough to where they hardly ever for the past three months see them out like this. They just started to do this this past week. And like I said, as it progresses, you know, uh, September, October, November, all through these months you're going to see more and more and more of this sort of thing. What they're trying to do at, after the water temperature drops below 73 degrees Fahrenheit, um, it stays there for two weeks. Their throat's shut. After that, they cannot swallow food. Why is that? If they, if they, if they mainly fish, but but he won't stop at just fish, right? He'll eat frogs and insects, snakes, small birds, rodents, hatchling alligators. That bird eats a little over twenty percent of the hatchling alligators born. He loves them. He thinks they taste like chicken. <laughs> See, he's hunting right now. He's posed, waiting for a little fish or something to surface right there, make a huge mistake. He's going to spear it. They also eat thousands and thousands of dollars worth of people's goldfish and koi. If that bird finds your goldfish pond, your koi pond, you can kiss your fish goodbye. They'll be gone, I guarantee you that. He'll return every day until he wipes you out. Huh. That's the same thing he does to the hatchlings. He finds a nest site in a nursery. Not a flood of timber, it just cuts these little channels. There's hundreds, maybe thousands in the Honey Island Swamp sloughs, just like this. But this is one that's accessible by a large boat, close enough to where we don't have to run for miles and miles. And get y'all back into the swamp. And trust me, there's a lot of stuff to hit. There's a lot of stuff we can see right now that I can, but I got most of it memorized. So I'll, I'll try to give you a little heads up unless I get off squirrely. And how deep is it through these sloughs sometimes? It varies. Right here, it's going to be about five feet deep right there. And, and in the tree line, well, where the channel is, right? The sloop. But once you hit the tree line, it's much more shallow. back here a little bit. So what kind of snakes they got here? Um, most of the snakes we encounter out here are water snakes, non-venomous water snakes. And we do have um, the predominant venomous snake is the cotton mouth. Look at this little, oh, did y'all see that? Yeah. Yeah, there's a gator it's just down in front of us. Huh? I was on the fence, I was trying to decide, gator a scary stick, and okay. it so it's a gator. Scary stick's just a There he is. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Little guy. Right there. Yeah, you see him in the water. Shake him. Oh. Yeah. Oh, he's just like that. Eat this. He's coming. Now this is pretty typical. What we'll see back in the slough like this are small games. Hey. 
You going to eat that? Yeah. Okay. You want that? Can you jump? Can you jump? Jump. That's a nice, good jump. Pay attention to a few things we can see on an alligator. Okay. He likes you. Oh my god. What? Don't do that? Do it. Why not? Do it. I'm a trained professional. Sort of. <laughs> well, actually, I'll take that, but I'm not trained. Those are the good ones, I'm right? definitely not a professional. Jump up and oh, there he is over there. He wanted his finger. Ow. He might be turning off. She might be turning off. I don't know. It's turned off. <laughs> Come on. Come no, on. you gotta stay here where you see this. He's coming back. <laughs> He's coming back. Look. Sure Look. Another one's coming up. <laughs> there it is. But watch their eyes. If we get a good close up look at their eyes, you can see a, they have a specialized eyelid called the nictating membrane. And it goes from the front to the back. They blink it when they go under the water. When they go to bite stuff, you can see them blink it. Look, saw it? Look, somebody hits him in the eye with a hot dog. Yeah, watch. Saw it? Yeah. <laughs> their, their ears are right there behind their nostrils. Their ears and nose. That's where he roosted at night. He lived right there. And now the little tropical storm knocked his tree down. I feel sorry for him. He's got to have a new spot. I just haven't found it yet. That was his tree. That's a good fisherman, that bird. I mean, excellent, excellent fisherman. A fisherman. A fisherman. Better not. Please. Y'all have no fun. <laughs> That's dinner. The facts of life. He's so nice. No, this is my pet. Sushi. 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 They don't make very good pets, y'all. They do not make good pets at all. This is for educational purposes only. The petting zoo. Touch him or you? Get the picture. We'll keep him for a couple of years. You know, show him to you guys. Like you said, everybody gets a little close-up look when he gets about two, two and a half feet. He's him right out here and let him go. A lot of people are concerned about the fact that we raised him in captivity. Sure. Alligators will eat just about anything. Insect. But one of our best defenses to get these alligators is 
We don't try to do it to all of them, but we try to save Brutus, Big Al, and Cindy. And our best defense is to feed them a lot. And this would be why, Sean. Yeah, so they go and shut it down. But Put them up to your face. It, it, it costs a lot. I fed Cindy uh, $45 worth of chicken, raw chicken the other day, and she's still out. Right. When I was in the river going slow, that's what I was looking for. Cindy was in the water. Oh, oh, no. Drop them. Twice. And I knew they were Yeah, look, you let this one drop on it. Turn for Sean. Turn for Sean. And I only saw them twice. Look at Danny. They're, they're too, they're too look at Danny. Look at Danny. They get in my neighborhood, they cause all Danny. kinds of problems. Somebody eventually ends up shooting the baby. But people can't right. even crap. I want to hold them. Keep live baby. It's kind of like that way. It's pretty fresh off. It's scary. That's one of the things I've all, you know, I've grown up. Uh -huh.